Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft, and now we're going to kick off with the lovely evil gribbliness of the Zerg. So, uh, let's go. Zerg campaign, Overmind. The swarms have crushed the meagre human resistance and laid waste to nine of the thirteen Terran worlds. Shortly after the fall of the Terran capital world of Tarsonas, the main Protoss fleet abandoned the Terran sector. Now, efforts continue on Tarsonis to weed out the remaining Protoss forces. Ooh, drama. Among the ruins, Confederate capital world Tarsonis, of all places. Yeah. My child, and embrace the glory like that slimy. is your birthright. Sarah. That I am Something. Overmind. Oh, okay. The eternal will of the swarm, and that you have been created to serve me. Oh god, must I? Behold, <laughs> that I shall set you amongst the greatest of my celebrants, okay. that you might benefit from their wisdom and experience. Ah, okay. Yet your purpose is unique. Oh, that's nice. While they Some carry special. forth my will to the innumerable brutes, innumerable. you have but there are one eight. charge entrusted to your care. Okay. For I have found... More hit points and do the drones have, uh, yes, as compared to drone damage. I don't know what their DP do, a great deal of uh, that, or... They're not particularly strong. It's rebirth into the swarm. And that needs a mwah at the end. Over the chrysalis. Oh, yeah, dos mission. Sure that no oh, right. comes to the creature with it. And not a problem. Go now and keep safe, my prize. Yes, my slimy gribbly overlord. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. is the heart of any Sir colony. It spontaneously Wait. generates lava. Mm -hmm. Which in turn are used to spawn your various warriors and minions. <laughs> I like minions. Now, create a drone and start gathering resources. Uh, uh, way ahead of you, you talking meeple thing, you. That makes it easy to let lava. Yeah, it's spon. Ooh, okay, thank you. Uh, it spontaneously generates uh, lava. Oh. control for your minions. As your forces Sorry. grow in number, you must hatch more overlords to control them. You have enough minerals. Select a lava and mutate it into an overlord. Yeah, I'm way ahead of you, John. Sorry, yes, they're basically um, mobile supply depots. To create new warrior strains, you must generate the various hive structures. The drones themselves mutate mm. into these structures. Nice. Be careful. Never use your last drone to make a building. And unless I would suspect that building happens to be accurate because you don't have one. Because without a hatchery, you can't make anything. Um. <clears throat> As I say, this is one. Th yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, I thought I was talking again. Uh, one thing that I may or may not have mentioned before, but what the hell, I'm gonna mention it now anyway, possibly again, whatever. Um, that anyway, that I really, that really impresses me, I suppose, about uh, this game. Well, certainly uh, one of us played it. Um, now, order your drone to become a spawning pool. <laughs> Yeah. You'll notice that structures can only implant themselves upon the creep. Indeed. This this is a sticky, purpley looking. You can make creep mass. colonies to extend the creep, but only a hatchery can be built upon open oh, ground. Oh, shut up! Thank you. Um. Yes. Uh. One thing that I say I really like about this game and kind of impresses me I suppose about this game, um, certainly when I played it as I say, um, is how it's three unique armies or races and the way they work, the way they operate, it's very, it's internally consistent. So the Zerg, they're, you know, an evil, gribbly, organic horde, so it makes sense that their buildings would be, um, you know, uh, living organic building things as well and lo and behold they are because they come from uh, these little drones and um, as we'll see with the uh, Brotoss they follow the whole high tech um, route as well which is like I say very 
uh, cool, I think, uh, to see. Um, so what we've got a few minutes while this has been built. Okay, why am I building one? Well, as I said, uh, up to a maximum of three larvae, uh, which isn't very good for rapid army uh, building. Um, so we can have another hatchery to make it a bit quicker to construct, um, well, to train, train to spawn, would be a better word, uh, our army. And speaking of which, the Zergling, the mainstay of the Zerg ground forces. Um, ooh, um, they're not particularly strong or do a great deal of uh, damage. I don't know what their DPS is compared to a drone, but the drones have uh, more hit points and do as much damage. Um, but where the Zerglings excel um, is well, basically where the term Zerg Rush comes from. Individually, you know, one on one, a Terran Marine will rip a single Zergling um, a new butthole quite easily. One on one. The way the Zerg operate, as I uh, implied, um, is through well, basically the origin of the term Zerg Rush. Uh, which is overwhelming numbers and a complete disregard for casualties. Furthermore, as we'll see momentarily, <clears throat> once we get a spawning pool, of course, <clears throat> um, the Zerglings are not only. Uh, Uh, very cheap, um, but each egg will sprout two of them, uh, making them cheap and very easy to replace. Ooh, five, three. Ah, uh, well, need a hydrogen. We can require some best being gas. Never mind more. Um, I'll slap that down there. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you. Uh, I'll do this. Greetings. Oh. I am Saz. Hello. I too am a celebrate of the Overmind. I am the oh, only go on, are you? small band of Terrans who could threaten the Chrysalis and the Hive Cluster. Oh, oh really? must not allow them to leave here alive. Ah, I'm way ahead of you. Woo! Gar. Whoa. Okay, so from this... Okay, so we missed that little confrontation, but uh, I think it was, it was probably a case of there was uh, a couple of marines. And so, yes, they managed to take out one zergling. <laughs> but as I say, seeing as these things are very cheap, very uh, easy to replace, or very quick to replace, um, hmm. uh, I think we definitely got the uh, better of that deal. Right, I was going to have a couple more uh, overlords. Some hydralisks, and then we really will be ready to push up and kill some Terrans. Um, yeah, um, I'll talk more about the uh, origin of the Zerg in a later part. Yeah, baby, just made the Zerg move faster. Um, in a later part, because then at least I'll have something to talk about. Anyway, yes, time for a 
quick lesson in Zerg rushing. Well, so I've never been very good at it myself. But I mean, this is the basic theory behind it. Not my finest moment, I'll grant you, but uh. Okay, get Hydra less than I was aiming for Zergrins, but never mind. Um, but yeah, it could have been worse. So I'll increase Hydra less range though. Hmm, I should have wiped out uh, this little base first though. Never mind. But yeah, so as you see, that's basically where the whole term Zerg Rush uh, comes from. Um, but I mean, going back to. What makes the races interesting again um, is again how uh, their armies and such like work in a logical way. So the buildings, yeah, you know, it's an organic thing. So they're not going to have mechanical structures as such. Um, they're going to have organic structures, and you know they're organic because they're grown from organic things. Um, you know they don't have uh, supply depots or anything like that, but they do have uh, overlords. Um, Oh, you cheeky little marine, you. Um, uh, yes, overlords. There we go. Uh, uh, to offer control to all these little insectoidal things. Um, which can make sense, and uh, they also, as we'll find out in uh, later missions, um, aside from being a detective unit, they also... Uh, spending on anything else. Um, they also uh, act as uh, dropships, effectively. Um, yeah, it's just it's, it's things like that that I, I really quite like. One, two. Some more hydralisks. Whoop! Oh, of course, Barrow is also fun. Hmm. Oh, and, uh, yes. Buildings, you can't repair buildings, but, you know, they're organic, and they will slowly heal over time. Which, again, is, uh, kind of cool. Let's just make that team three. So that was time, and this is something taking me a little longer than I planned. Hmm, really? Alright. Sorry, I thought it was up to uh, more than that. So, uh, that's it. Oh, God! We're gonna die! Don't you understand? We're all gonna die! Uh, Second squad, uh, Control yourself, General. 